something he said in there. On day three, mind you, I'm sweating out tacos I haven't had since third grade, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just something fierce. All of a sudden, I hear him say during the video, this would make me sell my DVDs, he goes, don't forget, Rome wasn't built in a day. That's what he said. What I heard. Don't forget, Granny, it's going to be longer than 200 days. <laughs> I have time for the P200X, man. Forget that. Oh, man. So, anyway, that's what I do. I'm a comedian. I've been doing it for about 15 years. I love it. And I tell you, the, the whole purpose of this morning, and uh, which, by the way, thank you so much for, for laughing earlier because it's very hard to do comedy at 9 in the morning. And, uh, but you guys are great. And, and give yourselves a round of applause for making it to this point right here because it's a big step in your life. Coming up as a stand-up comedian, I had a lot to, um, I had a lot of people, I, I went straight from high school to working. I actually went to SAC for a semester. Yeah, I went to SAC for a semester because uh, this wasn't even here. I think this was a mall at the time. I'm just kidding. I actually went to SAC for a semester, and then all of a sudden I started working. And after that, I realized that there was always something missing. I remember my friends from high school, they were in college, and they really were having a blast and having a good time. It wasn't until about 27 years old that I realized that I wanted to be a stand-up comic. Uh, now, going to be a stand-up comic, I mean, that's not one of the, uh, I'll be honest with you, it's not one of the uh, professions I would choose or it's highly highlighted on the career part, am I right? That's right. Yeah, they're like, oh, don't even bring that up, you know. But for me, that's what happened. That's what worked. And, I, and, and the thing is, is that um, now I actually went, when I started really started taking off in comedy, I've been actually blessed with going, working with other people, other comedians like George Lopez, Carlos Mencia, Tommy Chong, Brett Butler, just to name a few, as well as Tim Hawkins, Bob Smiley, some other guys. And it's all around, you know, just pretty much who, wh what you put into your craft, okay? What you put into your talent. Everyone here is gifted with a talent. It's just that some are comics, some are engineers, some are doctors, some are lawyers, some are, you know, just, you know, veterinarians. Some are some, whatever it is that you have a passion for, that is what you're going to strive for. Well, I knew when I walked into a comedy club that this is what I wanted to do. This is just my thing. So what do you do when you find a passion? You're going to research everything you can to go ahead and be the best at that profession. Now, 